Okay, Jessica, let us know when you are transmitting because I don't see anything. Ah, yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. So Ronnie, go ahead, please, and reintroduce the activity, reintroduce the activity to the people who are following us, explain what we're doing and why some words are bigger than the others. Okay, well, good evening, everybody. Let's reintroduce this activity uh, to all the people that are um, watching this a uh, beautiful event being transmitted, our Valentine's Day talkathon. Welcome to the activity. Well, we are here um, sharing a little bit about different topics um, uh, related to love and friendship with uh, two of our groups from uh, Universidad Castro Carazo and some guest students, as well as Voliana, who is the director of the School of Languages, Professor Pablo and myself. Uh, who are the, the professors of these groups. And well, here we are having right now an activity in menti.com in which our students are participating from a word cloud. By typing words, following a website, we are having now a word cloud that specifically this one includes the most important characteristics we are looking for in a friend, okay? So take a look at that, we have different words. Supportive, smart, uh, funny, friendly, uh, energetic, loyal, uh, talkative, etc. And yeah, some of these words are bigger than the others. Like for example, friendly, funny, loyalty. Usually these words that are bigger than the others are the words that were more popular, let's say amongst our participants or the ones that were more frequently included by our students in this word cloud. So, you know, they are highlighted so that we can take a look at these words being the most frequent ones or the ones that our students uh, included, you know, in the activity more frequently than others, right? All of them are important, but these ones are highlighted so that we can take a look at them within this activity. So this uh, exercise is the first activity of the ones that we have tonight, that we are uh, enjoying them very, very much. And that I hope that will our students, the participants and the people who are watching this transmission will also enjoy the rest of the activities that we have prepared. Thank you. Now, I would like to ask the people who participated, I'm curious about energetic. Who wrote energetic? And please, can you share with us why is energetic important for you in a friend? Come on, don't be shy. Who wrote energetic? Hello. Yeah. What's your name? I, uh, uh, Ma Maria. Maria. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, hi. Maria. Why did you write energetic? I feel uh, what uh, um, person energetic is uh -huh. mo is mo many important uh -huh. in moments in our life uh -huh. my my energy is is low is uh, mm -hmm. that uh, hello low uh -huh, is okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's low uh, and yes uh for for that is is important and, um friends energy um many um happy be happiness, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for, for, um, yes, for 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 that. Okay. Thank you very much. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Uh, is in this uh, in this um, picture or uh, imaging? Mm -hmm. I I he have two two word honesty and mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. But this uh, you can. Um, Example for me, the, the uh -huh. difference, the, the, the two. Yeah. Excellent. Honesty is the noun, sustantivo, and honest is the adjective, el adjetivo. It's, it's, so you, can, uh -huh. Uh -huh, so you uh -huh. can say, my friend Ronnie is very honest. Or you can say, my friend Pablo has a lot of honesty. Mm -hmm. So... One is the adjective goes before the, the name of a person, my friend Ronnie, or after the verb to be. My friend Ronnie is honest after the verb to be. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and the noun goes after another verb, like Pablo has a lot of honesty. Okay? okay. Or, or it could be at the beginning of a sentence. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, you can say, Honesty is really important when we are dealing with friends. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. where you can put it also, we can say that honesty is like the concept. Honesty is the concept, is the idea. And when you say honest is when you are describing someone. So you can say that person looks really honest. So okay. you can put that okay. in that context too. And oh, okay. honesty is like the whole idea. Okay. And, and, the, con and the concept for, for a person is, is, is better honest. Is, is because honest, in that case, you are describing the person. So you are giving a description. So in that case, we can say that it's like an adjective. Okay. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Let's see somebody else. Uh, who wrote talkative? Who wrote talkative? Come on, who wrote talkative? Actually, it was me. Okay. Uh, who wrote love eating? Ah, a person who loves to eat is a foodie. Yeah, who wrote love eating? A person who loves to eat is a foodie. I'm like hurting food. myself. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what's your name? Randall. Why did you write that? No, that looks great. Well, I think it's important someone who loves eating or go out to other places. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Do you like to have different kinds of food, like international food and stuff like that? Yeah, international food, national food, everything. Yeah. Jack food. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know, we have something in common because that's one of the things that I love in a friend. That they are gonna, foodies. I was going to say the same thing, basically. <laughs> that they are foodies. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we are going to go to, now we're going to go to the next uh, screen. And I need that you take a screenshot of these questions that you see here. Take a screenshot of these words that you see here. Okay. A picture with your cell phone or a screenshot because we are going to use these questions las vamos a usar para el trabajo en pequeños grupos que vamos a hacer ahorita entonces ya ahorita no van a escribir más sino que van a trabajar en pequeños grupos ok y solamente un grupo entonces se va a transmitir de acuerdo entonces este vamos a ver tómenle por favor la foto Y me avisan, porque ahorita vamos a empezar a hacer los grupos. Pero tienen que tomarle la foto. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Ready spaghetti. Uh -huh. okay. Ready as well. Okay. So Done. very soon, very soon you will have the, the group. And then you will be sent to the group and we will be transmitting from one of the groups, okay? It's important, no um, Spanish, okay? It's important to know no Spanish, okay? And when you have the message that says uh, invitation to the room, you go to the room. Okay, we have five more people who have not moved to the room. Are you having problems to move to the room? <laughs> I am. The, uh, Maria, Leonardo, Pedro. If you have problems, you can stay here because we will continue the transmission from here with you. But you have to know that you will be in the transmission, okay? Pueden quedarse aquí, pero sepan que, que van a estar en la transmisión. No importa. Yes, uh, uh... My my please uh, is this the sala six. Uh -huh. it, but but I return here. Okay, but no problem. You can stay here. So we have one, two, three, 
Nancy, are you here? Yes, I'm here. I, okay. I okay, so we are going to stay here with Nancy, Leonardo, Maria, and myself, okay? So we are going to share our answers to these questions, okay? Nancy, why don't you choose the first question and ask one of the other people? Okay, uh, is it Leonardo? Is it here? Leonardo, are you there? Leonardo? Okay, I think Leonardo is not here. We just have Nancy and Maria. <laughs> so Nancy, you can ask Maria. Okay, Maria. Um, do you have any long distance friends? Hey, um, sorry, repeat. Do you have any long distance friends? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, I don't have many, many friends. And um, it, no, no. So my, my, my friends are is, is in my family. Uh -huh. No, no have friends a long distance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't have long this long distance friends. No. no. Mm -mm. Okay. 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 What about Maria? You ask Nancy a question. Nancy, do you make friends easily? Uh -huh. um, I think so. I'm really, I'm very talkative, so uh -huh. I, I like to make friends easily because uh, I'm not, I'm not ashamed or I'm not afraid to make to talk or to make friends. It's something that I have, yes, in, in myself. I don't know, but I, I like to make friends everywhere I go and be friendly. So I think I'm very, I'm very friendly, and I, I'm going on with with people that I, I don't know. Uh-huh, so you make friends very easily. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Maria, do you make friends very easily or are you like a little bit more shy like me? I am very shy. You know uh, what shy is? Timid. No, no, uh, I am I extrovert, extro, extroverty. I'm no. an extrovert uh -huh. Uh -huh. or I am extroverted. Very uh -huh. good. I have many people in, in, in a wrong around, around all the time. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, uh, is 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 but no but uh, but knowing me in my in my life in, in my into family and uh -huh, uh -huh. intimate estimated and then uh-huh uh -huh. not in your close circle. Not it's in your not, close not, circle. Not, yes, no. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Nancy, choose another question and ask Maria. Okay. I'm, I'm reading, I'm sorry. Have you made any friends? Hey, okay, Maria. Yes. How do you maintain a good friendship? Uh, Uh -huh. How do you keep a good friendship, Maria? Keep, maintain. Maintain, do you think maintain a good friendship? I, 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 friendship, me perdí. Friendship is amistad. Friends, um, friendship. Um, so how do you maintain? Maintain is like Spanish. Mantener, maintain a good friendship. What do you no, think is important? No, no, my friendship uh, are my son, my, 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 my daughter, my, uh -huh. my son, uh, not uh, anymore. Okay, so it's your <laughs> relatives and just them. Uh -huh. Nancy, <laughs> how do you maintain a good friendship? What is important for you? Okay, for me, it's important the good communication that I will have with my friend and that, that that person can listen to me when I have a problem and mm -hmm. like being honest with each other, try to see each other, uh, even though we are like a little bit far, or we are a little busy with our, our lives, mm -hmm. but try to keep in touch with them somehow that we cannot just lose the friendship and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alive. 
Okay. Now, I want to ask you something because Ronnie mentioned that Valentine's Day is a day for French, for friendship and not just for love. What do you think about this holiday? Uh, me, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Both of you. What do you think? Do you think it's to celebrate love? Do you think it's too commercial? I, I'm, a, I'm the Grinch of the... <laughs> <laughs> of Valentine's. <laughs> It's so commercial for me. It's just that you can try to sell things, flowers, chocolates, everything. Mm -hmm. So, and there are so many people on the streets, on the I don't know the malls or on the restaurants. So I don't really like it. But I think oh, like okay. for both. So even though it's commercial for me, in my opinion, but it's nice to see you go out with your friends and have a coffee or go out with your girlfriend or boyfriend. Uh -huh. Like a, a nice dinner, watch a movie or something like that. Mm -hmm. nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And Maria, what do you think about Valentine's Day? Do you think it's for love or do you think it's too commercial? Um, I like. I like. Uh, I I think it's a day for 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 love, for mm -hmm. for family. <laughs> For it in my house is, is the moments many important. Uh, it's a very important moment for your for your family. In, uh -huh. it's in my family, my, I have a best friend. Uh huh. It, it's uh, on, uh, alone, alone okay. one. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, with with it, he coming in my house and and he 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 he. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, um, okay, no problem, Maria, no problem. <laughs> okay, now I am going to bring the groups back. Voy a traerme a los grupos y los vuelvo a dividir. Entonces, la próxima vez, si aceptan ir con la sala para que vayan con otro grupo, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Okay, so in 60 seconds, everybody will be here. So for the people who are watching us in Facebook or in Instagram, uh, there's already around 40 people participating in the activity. Tenemos como 40 personas participando en la actividad, solo que estamos usando grupos pequeños que permite la herramienta Zoom. Entonces, dentro de un momentito van a ver que todos regresan y luego los volvemos a separar en pequeños grupos estamos conversando de estas preguntas que ven aquí sobre la amistad, sobre el amor. Okay, so I guess we have 28 people back. Hello. Uh, hi, Liana. Just I have hey. a question. Hello, back to you. Yeah. Because I only Hello. have one turner on my meeting and my and my group meeting and I could to talk a lot of, about it. <laughs> Oh, ah, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to make smaller groups. I mean, bigger groups next time. Okay? Uh, I'm going to no I'm gonna make smaller or bigger groups this time. Uh, there's still people who are not here. Okay. Very soon you will be in another room, okay? So very soon you will go to another room. Should we move to the next room now? Yeah, you're okay. going to get the invitation. So once you get the invitation, you can move to the other room. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sorry, what are we going to do this time, sorry? You are going to go to a different room. So you are going to get the invitation to go to a different room and you are going to go over these questions with the okay, new, same with questions. The new group. 
Yeah, exactly. Okay. But if you, if you want to ask other questions about the same topic, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see if somebody stayed here. Okay, there are five people here. So Anthony, Anthony, are you here? Anthony, Carlos, Randall? Carlos and Randall, don't go. Stay with me, stay with me so that you can be in the transmission. Carlos and Randall, don't leave. Yeah, ah, I'm here. left. Okay, Randall, stay with me. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay, so Randall, um, so let me see which question where where is a good place to meet new friends randall well i think in a barbecue or somewhere mm -hmm. where you can eat something or drink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about okay. you uh were you the person who said you like foodies as friends no i didn't that was <laughs> another person i think no, his no, name I, was, I was randall <laughs> i was you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, okay. So for you, barbecues. Now, are you? Do you cook? Do you organize the barbecue, or do you get? Yeah, invited? I love to cook. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you get invited, or it's usually that you, the one who's cooking? Um, I think both. I have some friends with barbecues, so mm -hmm. they send me the invite, or maybe we create like a meeting in our house. Well, mm -hmm. pre-COVID, actually. <laughs> okay how are you dealing with that now how are you dealing with with friendship and meetings in covid times yeah it's super complicated mm -hmm. and we try not to create big meetings only close friends or parents uh-huh yep okay okay um what are some things you like about your best friend um maybe that She's pretty friendly, talkative, mm -hmm. and love to know new places and travel mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. Do She's you my like wife, it? by the way. Oh, so cute. Yeah. yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have you heard this expression? It's a yeah. match made in heaven. And there's another expression. Two birds of a feather fly together or flock together. Have you heard I haven't that heard expression? That one. <laughs> well, let me write it here in the chat. Yeah. It's like birds. Of, oh, 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 let's see. Birds of a feather flock together. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Yeah. So yes, birds of a feather flock together. It's like people who have similar characteristics usually join each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's true. <laughs> uh -huh, uh huh. Tell me more about your wife, about your best friend. She'll be listening to you in this transmission. Um, you think she's, she's <laughs> close to me? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be so, careful what I'm saying. No, send her a Valentine's greeting in English. Come on, use your use this opportunity. Uh, well, I'm not pretty. I don't know. <laughs> expression. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. I don't want to put you in the spot. No, Hello. I, I will think about it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you yeah, want to say something loving for your husband that we are, you know, sharing in Facebook and in YouTube? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I was having, I was having troubles with my internet, so so sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. No problem. No problem. What's your name? The wife. My name. What's my name is Amanda. I was. I was talking with you at this time uh-huh yes remember me <laughs> yeah 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 i do remember i do me? <laughs> okay yes i do so amanda and randall right how long have you been married no i'm saying no no you, you got confused <laughs> oh, 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 okay yeah. i thought that was i thought that was your wife I also know. amanda <laughs> amanda yeah i remember no. you you're no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Amanda, welcome to the Tokathon. Yeah, I thought you were Randall's wife. So Amanda, no, sorry. Welcome. So Randall, ask Amanda a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is a good place to meet new friends? She already told me, but <laughs> yes, in a mall because I feel that you you can you can know a lot of people there. 
people different for, from another country or maybe, I don't know, or a beach too, in a mm -hmm. mall or in a beach. Yes. Amanda, often. How, how often do you go to malls now after, after pandemic, like during the pandemic? Like uh, twice per month, I think so. Okay, which one is your favorite mall? Uh, the new one in Heredia, you know, you know that place, Oxygeno? Oxygen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen. Yeah. What, awesome. what, is, what is your favorite part of, of that mall? Uh, I don't know, maybe the terraza. How do you say terraza? The I, terrace. The terrace. Yeah, I'm going to write the it terrace. Down. Uh -huh. Yeah. Randall, have you been there to that mall? Yeah, actually, I live pretty close to that place. Uh -huh. Do you think it's a good place or it would be a good place to meet friends? Yeah, to meet friends or also to play some sports like running. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. It's okay. Nice like running? Yep. Why? Yeah, you can you can run there. Yeah, it has really? like a pista. Yeah. yeah. Like tracks? It has yeah. like tracks. Let me write tracks. Oh, really? In fact, you, have in fact you can you can go you can go with your your dogs with your cats and all everybody goes everybody can go there. <laughs> no kidding. Do you have to yeah, pay to go awesome. to the tracks? No, Do it's actually have... free. Oh. Yeah, pretty close to the streets and around the mall. Oh, wow. I didn't know. That's a good thing to know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amanda, ask Randall another question. One of the questions. Well, um, how many people do you consider your best friend? Well, actually, myself, my wife, and some, well, my parents, I think. And what about you, teacher? Who are my best friends? No, what do you, uh, <laughs> uh, how, many, how many people do you consider your best friends? I have a very, very small circle of friends, but I am very happy because some of my teachers that work with us at the university are my friends. Like Ronnie and Pablo, they are two of my friends. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, it's nice when you work with your friends and when you enjoy working with your friends and you trust them. So, yeah. So I would say I have a small circle of friends. Yeah. Now yeah. the last question, where is a good place to meet a new boyfriend or girlfriend? Amanda, what do you say? <laughs> I say, I, I, I said to Randall, maybe in a church. <laughs> But I say no. <laughs> no, because he was uh, he uh, he met, he met uh, his his wife in mm -hmm. a bar. So okay, cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So Randall, do you know now? Do you know what you are going to say to your wife? Are you I ready know, actually, to say I'm still something thinking. romantic? <laughs> You're still thinking, okay? Because we have a couple more minutes so that you make up your mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Amanda, who is your best friend? Uh, well, my best friend is Marianne. Uh -huh. And maybe she can see that this this one, but I want to say that I love her a lot because she understands me and she always is like uh, uh, supports me with mm -hmm. my decisions and all the stuff. So. I want to say that I love her a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. See, yes. that was so nice. So yeah, Marianne, so nice. so yeah. that's your Valentine's uh, present <laughs> from Amanda. Okay, Randall, after this demonstration of you know, <laughs> friendship, are you ready, Randall? Are you ready? Uh, are you yeah. ready for this? Yeah, <laughs> Randall, do it. <laughs> okay, basically that. She's super special for me, and I love the way she is. Also, mm -hmm. all the travels that we have ever done uh, together, uh -huh. and the ones that we will. Oh, nice. What is, what is your wife's name? Uh, Fernanda. Fernanda. So, Fernanda and Randall, I wish you a very happy marriage, and I wish you many, many happy travels, many happy trips together. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And, and Amanda, I wish you a lot of, you know, 
good experiences with your best friend. And very yes. soon, I am going to bring the other people back. Okay. And what, 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 what will be your, your message for your best friends? My message for my best friends? Yeah. Ah, do it, do okay. it, do it. Yeah, I will do it when, when my teachers are here because they are two okay. of my best okay. friends. Awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. You yeah. prefer to, to stay with them? Yeah, well, no, they are they are my good friends. And, and also, let's see. Yeah, mostly some of my teachers are my best friends. Let's see. Uh -huh. So people are coming back. Do, 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 do. So let's see some of the people. Johanny, are you back? Johanny, Marta, are you back? No, they're not back. It's because they are friends and I know that they are friends, but no, they're not back yet. Okay. So Randall and Amanda, what characteristics do you have that you think make you good friends? What do you offer to people? Well, that... friendly, patient, and talkative. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the food, right? Of yeah. course. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. And Amanda, what do well, you offer? I prefer, I prefer someone that is illegal, honest, 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 sorry, uh -huh. honest, and I don't know, maybe crazy because I'm so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what what sort of crazy are you? Are you like very creative or are you very mm, spontaneous? Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah, the second one, spontaneous. <laughs> spontaneous. Yeah, if I, I text you that we can do something or something like that, I prefer uh -huh. to do it in the next day. I I, I don't like uh, to have those plans uh -huh. because for me, the plans never, never go go right. <laughs> never go right when, they, no. when you give them too much time. And do you yes. keep... Do you keep your promises? Like when you make plans with your friends, do you, you know, keep those promises? And do you actually do that? What you promise to do? Mm, no, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I not? prefer. I prefer that we can text, text uh, back. Mm -hmm. We can text back and, mm -hmm. and do something in the same day. Uh -huh. Those plans never go 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 right. Those plans so. never go right. So, Pablo, are you there, and Ronnie? Yes, here I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Ronnie, are you back? No, it's because I'm, Amanda, back. Amanda, and Randall asked me about my friends, and I said that I am very fortunate to have some of my best friends. <laughs> now mm. I'm gonna cry. Work for me, <laughs> me <too>. and with <laughs> and with me. So, uh. Yeah, so you two are two of my best friends. Yeah, I know. And so, so before I cry anymore, Paolo, can you explain the next activity? <laughs> okay, I don't okay, I don't know how much time we have left. I think gonna, we have like five may, minutes. Yeah, for... so prob probably what I'm going to do is like giving like the access of the thing and what they are uh -huh. going to do, like exactly as, as as a homework could be. Exactly, and you wrap up. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. basically what Liana and Ronnie and I were thinking about how we can make like the closure activity for this talkathon was, okay, we want to hear everybody. And because of the way that we are working right now, it's kind of difficult to pay attention to all of you at the same time. We have decided to create a space for your voice. We have created a an action or, or in a specific area where you can talk and express how you feel about friends in general. Actually, one of the things that we were discussing today, we worked when, and I worked with my group last week and it was about friends and the characteristics that they have and what is the importance of friends right now. And actually one of the groups that I was in they were describing the importance of working in this area about friendship 
specifically in the, during the pandemic, because it has been really rough for all of us to adapt, adapt our lives to this new reality in a way and the role of friends in this new reality. So what I decided, maybe you can click on it, Lee, the, the link that you have right there. So actually what, I'm, what we have here, it's something that we called friendship, okay? And the idea that you're going to access to that, actually there is not like such a video, Lee. So what I did was basically to put like that question, oh, that statement. So during the pandemic, can you explain the role of friends in your life? And how does friendship affect your personal life? So the idea is that you're going to access to that link. I'm going to send it to my students. And I suppose Ronnie as well is going to do it. And we're going to send there. And you're going to say, record a response. So uh -huh. what we want you to do as homework or as an extra practice or even as an entregable, that is one of the things that we have been working here at the university, is that you can send to us a response about that thing. What is the meaning of friends right now in your life during the pandemic? And more important, how does that affect into your personal life, in, in your daily life, mm -hmm. and how important they are? And it's also very important, Pablo, to point out that only mm -hmm. we, yeah. the, the people in this activity, we are going to have access to these videos Mm -hmm. The content will be monitored. The words mm -hmm. will be monitored. If something is not appropriate, will be monitored. Okay. So mm -hmm. don't worry about, you know, anybody being, you know, um, no, nobody's going to get something. Yeah. Nobody's, nobody's going to get viral, viral, by the way. So. Nobody's going to get viral and we don't go for bullying either. So don't no. worry. Okay. Yeah. Hello. So, I have a question. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tell me, Amanda. That's Amanda, that, right? I have. Yes, I have flip, flip, flip grip. How, yeah. how do you pronounce? Flip grip. Yes, I, I, I have enter in join code. Enter join code. Okay, ah, you need the code. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna send it to you. Okay, so Amanda, I'm gonna send that code to you on the uh -huh. WhatsApp on the WhatsApp group, so there will be no problem. So you can access okay. that code. Okay. Paulo, oh, can you oh, put oh. the code in the chat too? Yeah, it's because just a second because I have to open my website on Flipgrid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So just a sec. Um, yeah. hello. Um, I have a problem. Tell. I am in another group, so I don't know how co can okay. I. Okay. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna. No send problem, Marta. Right you now. go ahead. You participate like that with the code. Everybody who is in this in this activity and who has the code can mm -hmm. get in. Ronnie and Pablo are not going to share the code with anybody who was not in this activity, okay? And they will be monitoring the comments and everything. But I, okay? I think that the, what they are referring is if they want to make like a response, they cannot have do it because they don't have no. the code for access to that. Okay, I, I, I have sent it to the WhatsApp, uh, to the chat here. To the chat. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's right there. So now you can make your video, record a response and react to mm -hmm. one of the other's videos, okay? Exactly. So, Pablo, thank you very much. And You're Ronnie, welcome. thank you very much. And Jessica, this is the end of the activity. You're very Entonces, welcome. Si gustas, podemos despedirnos, agradecer muchísimo a las personas que nos acompañaron hoy. Esperamos que lo hayan disfrutado y que se nos unan en una próxima actividad que vamos a tener eh, cerca de Pascua. Ok, entonces, muchas okay. gracias. Y Jessica. Okay. Hasta luego. Gracias a todos. Okay, bye. Thank you guys. Happy Friday.